Hello, power users, Big Pukowski here with one million dollar haircut. And today we will be talking about forms and color pickers. So we will see how to enable our user to choose a color of their liking. So uh, we uh, in the form we can have a color picker. I will show you how it looks. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It looks like this. So a user will in the a user will be able to select a color and the color will be stored in the database for the future use and the user could use it in any instance they want so this is what i will show you today so Zbigniew Fukowski in let's start okay so let's start i have in my Power apps. I have created the screen selected color, and in here I have a button which will create ourselves a collection. So in this collection, I've gathered only one property, which is color, and I've created a hex value colors. I've created this one. This is a cool color palette. I've just took four of them, so, but you uh, of course can have your own color palette based on your based on your users, uh, on your needs, etc. You can have many of those inside. Uh, you can also create your custom color if you want. This is possible also. I have another video about creating your own color based on a ribbon for each individual user. It is possible. But for now, we are just creating a collection. So. I have this collection and I want to create a gallery in which we will be creating, uh, we'll be selecting our own color. So I will just use the, the blank vertical gallery. In this blank vertical gallery, let's make it smaller. This is my item. Yeah, so shoops. We'll make it like this. In this uh, gallery, we will insert a shape because I want it to look nice. You can, of course, uh, create your visuals as you like. I want, I like the shape. I would like to have a circle. So this gallery, which will be important, I have four colors, so I will uh, make my my wrap count two. Up. What's that? Items. I want to have my collection in my items. So collect, select colors. I have already four colors. So wrap count will be two. Now let's change the item. Items. So it will have some kind of a border. Oh, like this. Now in this shape, I want to have the same color as we are have as this item have in the color value, which is in text right now. So to do this, let's go to the color. I will be using the color value function and use this item color. So as you can see, I've already have my items, but there is nothing if I select each item. I want to change this. I want to have the border. Uh, let's have the border color black and the border style if this item is uh, this item dot dot is selected. This will be true, then we will have the solid, and else we have none. Border style none up. Let's check it. As you can see, we don't have any border yet. So we need to use the border thickness. Uh, border thickness. So if this, this item dot is selected then we'll go with four else zero hop cool ah i have select 
selectable gallery now. So how to use this gallery? I want to, to use the input from this. So I will now just create a shape for, for now. The shape will be rectangle. And I just want to know that my item is selected. So in the color, I will go with gallery. What is it? Gallery nine, of course, dot selected dot color. And of course, color value, because this will be the hex property. So let's see if it's working. I have already working color based on, the, on my selection. But now I want to push this color to my database. I've already created my test app setting colors and I will be just get, getting the user email and the hex color value. So let's go to, let's create a button. Let's push our form. I'm just using it on a custom form. I I kind of I kind of hate the forms which you get in the Power App, but you of course can do it in, in your Power App forms. Let's go to, to I don't know create. This will be, for example, we can create a task uh, for the user or just create a, a user object. Well, okay, let's. Let's go with the create and on select, I want to patch this option. I want to patch our test app colors. Cool. I've already have this in the data uh, source. If you don't add the data and add your data source, I'm using the data verse. This is of course possible for any other data storage uh, connector, so SharePoint or SQL, etc. Whatever you, you, you use, this will be possible. I want to patch this and I want to patch and I want to create a new, op a new object. Op. So this will create a de default line with all the necessary items inside, but in the in this value, hex color value, I want to have the gallery nine dot selected dot color. Okay. And in the user email, email, I want to have user dot dot email. Cool. Let's see what's not working. User email does not exist, but okay, I need to update my data it afterwards yeah this is working okay so let's observe if we will create a new value in our database so i want to push it let's check it Yeah, we have my email, we have the hex color value, right, which is hopefully the green. So now on the landing screen, if you want to use this, this data, you can create a variable. Let's go there, let's go to the app, let's go to the on start, and in on start, you can create a set variable current user color. Then we will get the lookup. 
and we will get our our table user email equal to user not email and from this we will get the x color value cool we have this figured up so let's go to the standard landing screen and if everything will be all right we will get this color from value so we will use the color value of var current user color that's it let's check it let's run on start we have the green and green was selected so select the, the pink one now i will have the two users uh, value so i will need to update this so i will need to absurd i have a whole video about the absurd scenario uh, which you can use uh, and you can check it uh, but for now we we won't do it because this is a lot of work but remember you can also absurd this scenario if you if you absurd this color if you if you wish but for now this is working so yeah you created a user selectable color in your form which you can use everywhere you can also absurd this color you can change it you can limit your users to a certain colors you can also grant your user the ability to create their own colors if you want this is also possible so look at my my other video i will link all the videos needed in the description and yeah that's it this is big Bukowski out i hope this was informative and if yes you can add like subscribe etc so see you soon